Hi everybody, this is Mike Gurris with the Greater Philadelphia Center for Spiritual Living and of course, Wonder Dog Yoga. Anyhow, yeah, she kissed, she gets kisses. What I want to talk to you today about is a way to move in consciousness from where you are to where you would like to be. Uh, let me explain. Uh, for a long time, <clears throat> I was thinking that just being a natural grump was just the way I was. Now, maybe somebody out there is kind of a grump too. Maybe I'm reaching the age where curmudgeons are us. Um, have you ever found yourself in a consciousness of being judgmental or being angry or being any of that stuff? Less than happy, mm, looking for the problems. Um, trying to get things done, trying to do it your way. Any of that kind of lower consciousness stuff that generally winds up making us feel the experience being less than happy and generally not making the people around us very happy either. Now, can you relate? If you can, then this lesson's for you. So <clears throat> I've been reading along a, a line of Eastern philosophy that uh, Dr. Ernest Holmes was following uh, by Sri Aurobindo. And um, he had a special type of meditation that he used. And what's special about this meditation was, is, is that he taught that as we still the mind, yes, actually still the mind, I know it takes work, and I know there's just glimpses at times, but it can be done to still the mind. What happens is, is that we can open ourselves up to the divine energy, the divine flow that runs through us and automatically lifts our consciousness to a higher realm. Now, let me give you an example. Let's close our eyes for a moment. And as we breathe in, Let's say, God is. As we breathe out, say, I am. Now, as you're doing this, sense a white light or, or energy that's flowing down through the top of your head, all the way down through your toes, as you breathe in. God is. I am. God is, I am. God is, I am. Now, as you focus on this, you'll find that that monkey mind or that squirrel cage of your consciousness has made it difficult for you to still your mind in the past, has something to hold on to and actually gets quite still. Now, that's enough to allow yourself to lift up in consciousness. It'll do so automatically. The reason being is, is that as we open up our, this is what was really great about Sri Aurobindo's teaching, is that we open ourselves up to the divine. The divine is already trying to get into us, is already in us, and is just descending or awakening within us that which is already there. So it's not about getting good enough to be spiritual. It's about Awakening to the spirit to the spirit that is already within us, awakening to the divine that's already within us, and the, the divine is doing that for us. That's really called that's to me, that's really divine grace, spiritual grace. Now I'm always looking for a shortcut, right? Well, this I would suggest. And it's okay, I've, I've read it in the writings that he does this too. Set an intention. Set an intention when you go into meditation. Set an intention that you're going to see yourself moving in consciousness from where you've been to where you would like to be. From instead of knowing judgment, knowing acceptance. From instead of knowing anger, knowing love. From instead being feeling not enough and limited, to knowing yourself as enough, enough for God and unlimited. Away from being unloved to being loved. 
You can do it. You can do it. Set the intention. And then go within. Open yourself up to the divine flow. And you don't have to go back into setting the intention or repeating a bunch of words or whatever like that, except I would suggest you either use the mantra that you've been using in the past. But this one I found that was given to me by a dear friend really works for me. God is, I am. God is, I am. Opening up seeing that energy flow into me, feeling that energy flow, feeling that vibration flowing in through the top of my head all the way down to the tip of my toes. Life is beautiful. And you're beautiful. Well, that's one all I've got for you today. And uh, that's a lot. And I would encourage you to stick around for Dr. Maxine's talk tomorrow, her love note tomorrow. Um, you'll notice now there's a donate button on these love uh, notes I've heard. If you'd like, if you enjoy what you've heard and you'd like us to do more, just make a donation if you would. We'd appreciate it. And then you can go to our website, cslphilly.org. Again, that's cslphilly.org. And there's an opportunity for you, of course, to make a contribution there, but also to find out about the classes we're doing upcoming if, uh, membership, friends and events we're doing. It talks to you about, oh, um, a link to a previous talks and the previous Sunday uh, celebrations that Dr. Maxine has said. It's really a wealth of information. So check that out, cslphilly.org. So until I see you again, yoga, come on, wave goodbye. Love you.